I want to build a surface drive and I need your help because I don't know what I'm doing. So y'all come on, let's let's go figure out how, how to do this because I don't know. If you've been following me over on Senate John Boats, you know that we have been running this 670 Predator long tail and I want to see if I can turn a long tail kit into a short tail or a surface drive. I don't know a whole lot about surface drives. I'm not a surface drive expert by any means, but I have seen a lot of DIY ones and they look really cool. And I think it would be really fun to put on this boat just as a little test project and see if it can actually be done. But since I've never done this before, I have a lot of questions and things that I just don't know what works well and how it's supposed to work. So I want you guys input before I go balls deep into this project. If possible, I would like to use the mounting systems that I already have. I've got quite a few of these that I can spare for this project, but if I need to, I can kind of cut one of these long extensions off and use that as our basis and come up with some kind of screw type system or like bolt system that they have for adjustment so you can lower it and raise it and make it right at the right height you need, kind of like the mud skipper kit does, but I'll figure that out. But my big question for starting is for the actual lower unit, the big part that's actually housing the belt drive or the chain drive, does it need to be made out of thick steel or can we do it out of thick aluminum or what is the best way to go about that? I'm assuming that steel would be stronger and that seems to be what most of the production style short tails are doing, but I wanna make sure that I'm doing it right the first time and not wasting money on aluminum trying to weld it all together and get it to work if it's not gonna be strong enough. So a lot of the research that I've done shows that I need to use some type of electric PTO up here and I'm totally fine with that. I found quite a few on Amazon, eBay, and places like that. But my big question up here is what size gear do I need or pulley do I need? I know a lot of people like chains and a lot of people like belts. Most of the advice I've been given so far has been to go with a really thick belt drive like what's on a Harley Davidson. I don't know what size pulleys I need for up here and for the lower part down at the bottom. So I'm just kind of at a loss there. Also, I know that there's different ratios and stuff depending on what you want your prop speed to be at versus the motor speed. So that's another thing that you guys could help me out with. I'm also thinking that I can take this coupler right here and mount it to the bottom of the lower unit. So on the lower unit where this part is going to mount, I can beef it up in the backside, drill and tap some holes so that this coupler can go in there. And then I can take one of these long tail shafts cut the outside of the shaft down to the length that I need so that it'll slide up in here like it should and can still use this clamping mechanism and then figure out how much length on the inner shaft that I need, cut it off, drill and tap it for whatever size pulley I need. My other question is, do I need to put some type of pillow block mechanism or some kind of something in there to support the inner shaft once it goes through here and into that lower unit? The other big thing I have questions about is where does the lower unit need to end and where does the prop need to ride? Does it need to ride like right at the bottom of the boat or does it need to be at the water level when the boat is moving or how do you figure out where exactly to end the lower unit and have the prop come out so that it will ride the way that it's designed to, which to give us the best speed and the best torque to push the boat forward. The last thing I'm really curious about is the length of the shaft. Like how long does it need to be from where the lower unit ends out to where the prop is? And what kind of cavitation plate do I need to put on top of it? Is there a certain design? Does it need to be up a certain height from the prop? You know, things like that. There's just a lot that I don't know about the way that these surface drives are designed so that I can build one and kind of make it work. I would love for it to work really good, but if I can just kind of get it to work at this point, I'd be okay with that. So let me know what you guys think. Any advice I'm open to hearing from anybody who's got any experience in building surface drives or running surface drives. I'm not afraid to experiment and if I screw it up, I will do a video and say, hey, this is what we did and we screwed it up and this is the way to fix it and then I'll try to figure out how to fix it. Now the purpose of this project is not going to be to do this as cheap as possible. I want something that actually works, but I'm more curious because can you turn a long tail into a short tail or a surface drive and make it work the way it's supposed to. I know that I can go spend a grand or whatever and buy one of the cheapo mud skipper or whatever else is out there, or I can spend big money and go buy a gator tail or whatever, but I wanna try something different because I've never seen this done on YouTube before and I've never seen it personally done, anybody take a long tail and turn it into a short tail, so I think it'll be a really cool project. Let me know what you guys think. Any advice, I'm willing to hear it. Any suggestions that you've got, leave them down in the comment section below. Look forward to hearing what you guys have to say.